So the Eagles are officially going to the Super Bowl, and I figured what better way to celebrate Philadelphia than by doing a tier list ranking all of the seasons of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because it's one of my all-time favorite shows ever. It is such a funny show, and what way to introduce that show to this channel than to do a tier list ranking all the episodes. So let's jump in, complete no-nonsense tier list of every single It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia this season, starting with season one. Season one, to me, is the perfect A tier. It is a great season of TV. You have some really hilarious, hilarious episodes in this season, such as Charlie Has Cancer, such as Charlie Wants a a. B word, I can't say that word. Um, the gang gets racist, gun fever, man. Everything is great here. It really demonstrates what Sonny did best all in one season. And this was before Frank. It just showed that there was something special here. And there absolutely was. This show just outright nailed it. It's it's so good in season one. I just can't believe what they did. But that gets beat by season two. Season two is still in A tier, but it's going to go at the very top of my A tier. And yes, this will be in order because there's only 15 entries on this list. Season two is basically season one, just with Den uh, with Frank, not Dennis. There are some incredible, incredible episodes this season. I'm looking at the gang runs for office. I'm looking at the first episode with Frank. The gang exploits a miracle. The gang gives back. $100 baby, man. There are just, there's so many here. The Dennis and D on welfare episode is one of the most popular and just like well-known episodes of the show ever. There's just so much to love about this season. It's so great. And Frank is awesome coming into the show. I don't think they found his identity this season, but I think they started to work on it. And I think where they really laid that foundation was in season three, and season three is an S tier. It's my all-time, well, almost my all-time favorite season of Sunny. We're going to get into my actual all-time favorite in a couple minutes, but season three of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is just firing on all cylinders. Every episode is awesome here. Bums making a mess all over the city. The gang gets invincible. The gang gets whacked one and two. Mac is a serial killer. Sweet D's dating a blank person. Frank sets Sweet D on fire. The list goes on and on. Every episode is a true riot. And I feel like this season, they finally, finally found Frank. And just going off of that topic, I just want to share. I was recently listening to this, the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia podcast. And I'm going to say I'm making a video all about that podcast because it is tremendous. But what I do want to point out is I remember them talking about how this season is where they realized they found Frank. And it's absolutely true. I think they started getting bread crumbs of him in season two, but it really came out in full swing here. And it's just done so well. Frank is an amazing character. He's on full display here and every episode is fantastic. But anyway, moving on, we're going to go to another banger and that is season four. You guys, season four is, it's not my personal favorite out of the S tier, but it is loaded. I mean, we have the Nightman cometh in this season for Christ's sakes. That's the best episode of It's Always Sunny ever. The, the gang cracks the Liberty Bell. Another prime example of a fantastic episode of Sunny. Sweet D has a heart attack is great. Dennis... <laughs> Reynolds an erotic life like there is just so much here Mac and Charlie die who pooped the bed there's just so much to love about the season every single one of these episodes is a banger too I just personally on the S tier scale I personally prefer season three to season four that's just me but I think they're both like perfect seasons of Sonny like truly they are both so good I can't think of anything like bad about either one of those and then we have season five Season five is the same exact way. I feel like it's an S tier season. There are some amazing episodes this season from the waitresses getting married to the World Series to defense to Patty's Palm home of the original kitten mittens, which is like one of the most popular moments in It's Always Sunny ever. Mac and Dennis break up, man. There is just so much to love. And actually, one of my favorite episodes comes, or one of my favorite scenes, I should say, not just episodes, but one of my favorite scenes of Always Sunny comes out of this season. And it's in the episode where I think it's like Mac and Charlie write a movie. And it's the scene where Dennis is like, well, what's missing from this movie? Full penetration. <laughs> It's just the funniest thing. He's like, he's out sniffing crime. Then he's back in the lab for some full penetration. It is like literally the funniest line ever. I, I 
I just, if you haven't seen it, you got to check it out. It is so damn funny. One of the best, one of the best moments in the show ever. But anyway, back to the list. Season five, absolute banger. One of my all time favorites. Truly, truly just a gem. But then we, in my opinion, take a pretty significant step back and season six, this is when they went from four by three to 16 by nine, which isn't a big deal. It, it's not going to impact the actual rating of it. But my personal preference is season six is the worst season of Sunny. Boom. Yes, true. There's not much here that is number one, rememberable or memorable, I should say, for lack of a better word. And everything here is just kind of dry. There's only two really good episodes this season, Mac and Charlie, White Trash, and Who Got Deep Pregnant. Other than that, I can't think of much else that I love in the same way that I do love the other seasons. I really do like, I do feel like everything else here is pretty forgettable. Like Charlie Kelly, King of Rats, forgettable. D. Reynolds, Shaping America's Youth, forgettable. D gives birth, pretty forgettable. The gang gets stranded in the woods, although there are some funny moments with the trucker that season. There's just not much there. Oh, wait, no, the trucker wasn't in this episode. This was the one where he has a connection with the rabbit. <laughs> it was funny, but like, again, I still find it pretty irrelevant compared to the rest of the, the whole show. The gang buys a boat is okay, but yeah. Look, if it's in, if it's in D tier, I'm not saying it's bad because it's always Sunny has a unique way of still being good, even in its worst. I just don't think this has a lot of material compared to the other seasons. This one felt like maybe they were in a writer transition. Maybe they were hiring new writers and they didn't find the groove yet. I don't know what it was, but I don't feel like this was the strongest season of Sunny ever. That's why it's in D tier. Again, D tier doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not nearly as strong as everything else on this list. So I think it perfectly sits in D tier. That being said, one of the best in my opinion, my personal favorite season of It's Always Sunny is season seven. I fucking love season seven of It's Always Sunny. And it's and the thing is, like, not every episode is as good as like season four, where every episode is just a true gem. But season seven hones in and has the funniest moments out of all the seasons. And there's just some of the most memorable shit here. Like for real, the high school reunion part one and two, oh, like <laughs> it's just a small example, but like Thunder Gun Express, how Mac got fat, the gang gets trapped, probably the weakest one on the list, but then the antisocial network, which arguably is my favorite episode. If it's always sunny, like ever other than the nightmare cometh, which I already said was my favorite, but um, the antisocial network is such a sleeper and it is so unbearably funny. It is so good. And there's some other amazing ones here. Like the gang goes to the Jersey. Sure. You see that ocean city, New Jersey post right back there behind over my unmade bed. That's the town they filmed the episode in. So it's great to see it. Obviously that has like location bias and stuff like that, but there's just so much to love. I, I love everything they did this season. I really do think this was a banger always sunny season and even the promo art this season was just so good like on a different level incredible i loved this season this was peak always sunny to me because then in my opinion we actually go downhill a little bit from season eight nine and ten season eight i think is a c-tier season there's really not too much here and you're gonna notice a trend the even seasons going forward aren't the strongest there's only a couple episodes this season that I really like. Like, The Gang Recycles Their Trash is a great one. The Gang Gets Analyzed is a great run, a great one, I should say. And, like, that's kind of it. The Gang Dines Out and Reynolds Reynolds Serial Defense. Those are good episodes, too. But I honestly do feel like this, this season was lacking. But C tier is still good. It's just, eh, it's like, it's there. It's good. There's some good stuff. I don't really love Frank's back in business. I don't really love Charlie's mom as cancer. I don't really love uh, Charlie and Dee fine love. I thought that was kind of a silly one, to be honest with you. The Maureen Ponderosa wedding massacre, I didn't like. I just straight up did not like that episode. And really, there's just not much else here. I, I think this was a eh, season of Sunny. It wasn't horrible at all. And I, like, I'd still watch it. Same with season six. I'd still go back and watch it happily, like happily. And if I'm saying that about the worst season of this show, that's saying something because I think it is that good. I don't mind even the D tier stuff. I enjoy watching it. It's still hilarious. Like season six has the implication stuff. That's hilarious. But anyway, season eight, I think perfectly fits in C tier. And anyway, up next, we have season nine. 
I think season nine is also in C tier. To be completely honest with you, I don't think... Mm, wait, 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 wait. I just had a brain fart. I'm looking over the episodes right now as I'm talking, and I just realized I'm completely wrong. Season nine of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is a B tier. <laughs> okay, not too much. That was extremely anticlimactic. Anyway, I just think there's some good material here. It's an odd season. Odd seasons, for some reason, are just a little bit better. But there is a lot here that I really like. The Gang Broke D was great. Gun Fever 2, Still Hot, is great. Mac Day is great with Country Mac. <laughs> the Gang Saves the Day. The Gang Gets Quarantined. Lethal Weapon 6, man. There is some great material here. There really is. It's a great season. Maybe... You know what? Maybe I'll put it in uh I'll put it in A tier. I actually think season nine was really good. So I went from C to B to A, and damn it, I am keeping it that way. And that rhymed, and I just may. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. But anyway, season nine is really great now that I'm looking and thinking about the run list. It's a shame, and it really is, and like it's a shame that uh, Lethal Weapon 6 had to be canceled for obvious reasons, like on Hulu and stuff like that. It's a shame that that had to happen because that episode is hilarious. Like, it is one of the funniest episodes ever. And for many reasons, not just the reason it got canceled, obviously, and I'm not saying anything about that particular, but just everything. The whole episode is so funny. The switching of Murtaugh is so funny. Frank is hilarious. In this episode, there is just so much. This is it's like it's it's just such a good episode. It's a shame for obvious reasons. It was canceled, but oh my god, there is some good stuff. And I think there's just I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with that. I think it's a great season. All that's all I'm saying. But anyway, again, here with that common theme, season 10. Season 10 is not that strong for me. I mean, there is not too much here to go off of. The gang goes on a family fight. That one's good. The gang misses the boat is good with the I am untethered and my rage knows no bound stuff. But like, other than that, I don't really think there's much. The gang be or the Wade Boggs episode was okay. I think this is a C tier. I don't think this is any better than like anything else. Like I, I really don't think there's that much strong stuff here. And it, uh, I mean, the gang spies like us is really good with the cream pie stuff. <laughs> like it's so funny. But, like, there's really, really not too much here. I, I wasn't a big fan. I think this was one of my most forgetful seasons. If I'm being completely honest with you, I really do. I don't think it was that special. Um, but, yeah, let's just move on to season 11. Season 11 has some good stuff in it. I think it's just good, though. I'm going to put it in B tier. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's good. I think there's some episodes in this season that really help shape the way or it being like, okay, this is an old show now, but it's still got the moves. Like, it it just has some quality stuff. The Gang Hits the Slopes is a great episode. Frank Falls Out of the Window is funny. Being Frank is funny. Mac and Dennis moving to the suburbs is fantastic. The Gang Catches a Leprechaun. The Gang Goes to Hell, one and two. There's just, everything's good. It's not fantastic. The only one that I think is, like, fantastic is Mac and Dennis move to the suburbs and maybe the gang hits the slopes. But other than that, it was just good. It wasn't great. There were episodes I remember, unlike some other seasons, but it wasn't anything better than where it sits, in my personal opinion. But anyway, season 12, we have a running theme again. This is a very forgetful season to me. Like, there's really not too much here. I think instead of C, though, because there are some strong moments, this is a B tier. Just like season 11, I, I, there's some, the one, ep, the few episodes I should say that I do like are really strong. Old lady house, uh, situation comedy is great. The gang goes to the water park is great. The gang turns black is great. The gang tends bar, a cricket's tail, but you know, there's a lot of good stuff here. There really is. It's just good, but I still think it falls off in quality. Some of these like mid seasons do, but it picks up a little bit. You're going to see that in a couple minutes, but I, I do think that this was a good season all around. It really was. It showed that it still has it for sure. Then season 13. Season 13 has some fantastic moments and some, you know, downhill moments as well. I think season 13 also is a B-tier season. I don't think it really goes any further past that. There's some episodes I really am not a fan of, like Charlie's Home Alone. Didn't love that one, but I did love Mac Finds His Pride. I loved The Gang Does a Clip Show. I love uh, the bathroom problem <laughs> episode. Um, trying to think what else was in this season. 
Time's Up for the Gang was good. The Great Escape was good. Or The Gang Escapes, I should say. Stitch's Great Escape. Come on. The Gang makes Patty's great again. There's just, like, good episodes. Not great. Not horrible. Just good. Just all around good. Not, like, this isn't a forgetful season. I, I, I'll put it that way. It's not a forgetful season. It's just not the strongest. And then we have season 14, which on this tier list is the last season I have, but we're still going to talk about 15. But anyway, season 14, trying to think about this one as well. Hmm. I don't know. I think this one is very forgetful to me. This is a, hmm, maybe a C tier. I was thinking D tier. You know what? No, this is a D tier to me. I'm sorry. There's really not much here. The gang text, I don't really care for. The gang chokes, I don't really care for. D-Day, I don't really care for. Um, the janitor always mops twice is okay, because it's like one of those really cool situation ones. But everything else, I don't really care for. A woman's right to chop is okay. A woman's right to chop too is okay. Like, I don't know. There's there's just not much. Mac or Patty's has a jumper was pretty good, but that's kind of it. And then... As far as this list goes, for some reason, season 15 isn't on it. So I'm going to switch to the face cam and I'm going to talk into the face cam. So season 15 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is an S tier season to me. I'm not going to show it to you because I'm just going to talk to you. But every episode this season was so funny because it perfectly encapsulated COVID and in the sunny way. It was just so good. It was so funny. Just off the charts hilarious. The stuff with Dennis going crazy because he had COVID. The stuff with Charlie finding his actual father and then his death and things like that. Just such a good season. It was funny. It was sad, but funny and good and just all around great quality season of Sunny. And I absolutely can't wait to see what S tier we're going to get in season 16. Hopefully it doesn't follow that even trend that we saw where like 10, 8, and 6 were bad, but we'll see about that. And with that out of the way, I want to know what you think about Sunny. Let me know what your favorite seasons are down below in the comments. And until I see you there, I hope you like this video. If you do, leave it a like rating so we can share it with more people. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.